So we're spraying this side, just give you a few tips and tricks spraying. We're always, I've talked about um, logical start and stop points and I'm gonna show you, you know, a logical start and stop. So logical start and stop points. If I spray and just go right back right here, I'm gonna have what we call an overlap spot right here, a heavy spot. And that's even, that's gonna show up soon um, over time. So you don't wanna have that. You always wanna look for logical start and stops. A logical start and stop would be from this point to this point, a logical start and stop right here would be from this point to this point. You got this point through there. You can't make it through those plants. So sometimes you just have to do what you gotta do. I don't wanna start right here. I mean, I, my stop would be back inside this plant right here. I'm gonna cover this um, with a drop cloth so we can, um, so we don't get overspray on it. But here's our logical start and stop and what it looks like. I'm gonna be spraying just like this, I wanna spray up at an angle. So I'm getting underneath those laps, but my corner board, lap board are my logical start and stops overlapping 50%. Keeping a nice steady pace. You can see with a 24 inch gun extension, my reach is pretty far, just like that. That's what it's gonna look like. I'll move these off these plants right here and move them to the other plants. You don't wanna leave them on your plants very long because um, the drop cloths do get hot and it can kill plants. So I'm just gonna work up a ladder Right here, we got high sides. Sometimes, yo, know, you just can't have a logical start and stop point. If a high side like this, um, you're gonna be working on ladders. It's a good idea to wait till this is the shade side so your paint doesn't dry as fast, so you're not gonna get flashing and lap marks. It's always good to have ladder at hand. See my nice steady speed nice overlap i can hit my soffit while i'm at it just like that see my logical start and stop point now is behind this plant once i get over the top of the plant now this is where i'm going to want to walk my distance and so planning it out so my logical start and stop is this window One of the major benefits to a gun extension, you can see my reach so much farther and I can reach through these plants. Logical start and stop now start to this window. Now it's gonna change. Logical start and stop here between these two windows. It's gonna change right to there. Now we've got a fence we need to mask off right here. So now we have another situation right here and I um, see people quite often without gun extensions or even with gun extensions and they'll spray back and forth and get right to here and then move over and spray right to here and you're going to have all these overlapping points uh, where the paint is going to be heavier and I like to call those um, shiners and over time you'll see those so we have a logical start and stop you know from this window you know all the way to this um, piece of batting board right here and I'm going to just utilize that is my logical start and stop and this was what it looks like and I like to just you know um, not pull the trigger 
um, or actually I like to keep the trigger pulled and not release the trigger when I'm spr spraying runs like this. The least amount of times you release a trigger, the least um, opportunity for spits. I've already gone down with here with the cardboard shield and sprayed the bottom. So I'm gonna do my fill in. Getting a spit, and if you get a spit, just reverse your tip, clear it, and move on. It's like that. One of the challenges to you know walking a run like that, I kept hitting rocks right here. Definitely got a clear a pathway for you to walk got another logical start and stop and working my way down this wall right here you'll see what it looks like i'm just gonna get a spit just clear it so my logical start and stop is the piece of tram and then the soffit 50 percent overlap nice Steady speed. As I get down below me, gotta be conscious to spray up underneath the siding laps. You can spray my soffit. I'll get close so I can spray the opposite side. We've got some more logical start and stops right here. So here's a logical start and stop. I'll usually even hold my shield down. Even though I got paper down there, I'll hold my shield down for just added assurance. I'm gonna spray behind these pipes, underneath this electrical box. Now you got a lot of different angles around these boxes behind this pipe space. Now get ready to spray this fence just to help this paper not whip around. Just gonna spray, hold it down just like that. Now one little tip, once you once you get this sprayed, in order to keep the paint from bridging on your tape right there, it's good to pull that off while it's wet. So once I know I've got it all sprayed here, a lot of different angles. It's like that, I'll pull off my pipes while it's wet. Pull that off while it's wet. Nice, crisp, clean line around your meter. Now working on certain high sides like this, you know, you, all, you can't always, you know, have a logical start and stop, especially if you're working alone. Now on this side right here, I split it in the middle and I waited till this side is shaded right here. It's not gonna dry as fast. I can still keep a wet edge. So, you know, sometimes you're just not always gonna have a start and stop point, but you just, you know, work with the best you can. Try never to um, spray a high side that you don't have logical start and stops on in the direct sunlight. Because by the time you get down the ladder, get up to the top to spray the opposite side, you're gonna be spraying right into dry paint and you're definitely gonna see that when um, it all dries out.